Hello there. Nice of you to join me again. I am that monsieur over there. And we are going to work more on this game. I finally figured out how to make the segments follow the thing. So let us do that first. We're going to set this X coordinate to the X coordinate of the base. Plus. Then we are going to add a parentheses. And put the X position of the head. Minus. The exposition of the base and parentheses. Then we are going to multiply by the segment, the value, the ID, divided by the value, segment number of that thing. And hopefully that works. Aha! See, now it goes right in between as it follows you. But that wouldn't work very well, so the Y coordinate wasn't set. So let's do the same thing there. Set the coordinate to the X position of the, or Y position of the base, plus, remember the parentheses, they're really important. Y position of the head, minus Y position of the body again, and parentheses, times, idea of this, divided by, no parentheses here, this thing's segment number. Ta-da! Oh, I should say that all credit for this code actually goes to Taco, as he is the one who gave it to me, and I would never have figured it out without his help. So thank you, Taco, for making my life a lot easier. And already you can see a mistake slightly, which is that this thing's exposition is in the center, so the segments go from the center. If we set it right there and move it back, then the coordinates are the objects will go straight from that tip right there. Alright, it's starting to look good now, isn't it? Let's bring this to the front, bring this to the front, and now let's make the head move around. So you can do this pretty easily. I'm going to do a little math here just because I'm feeling crazy. I'm going to name these sine and cosine just for easy naming. Uh, Easy naming something. So let's make a new subgroup called head. This is the base called body. Oops. I'm gonna put that all in there. So the head. Let's just start with an always condition. And let's say, yeah, let's do this. Set its x coordinate to the cosine of its cosine, obviously, uh, times, let's put this all in parentheses, 60, no, too big, 30, and parentheses, plus x coordinate of the base. Alright. And then we're going to say, it says y coordinate to the sine of its, oops, of its Sine times 20, put that all in parentheses, plus, uh, alright, let's put it plus the y coordinate of the base, plus another 200. No, that's too much. Plus another 100. Let's see if that works. Uh, it would, except for always add to its sign. Now, for you math wizards, you know exactly what I'm doing right now. For people who aren't math wizards, this might be a little confusing. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Ah, see, now he's looking pretty threatening, isn't he? Yeah, you know he's looking threatening. Alright, moves a little slow. So, we're going to make it move twice as fast. Oh, heck yeah, we're going to make it move twice as fast thing needs to be threatening, and it will also make the player a little faster. They can go 40 speed. Alright. Oh, oh man. It's starting to look dangerous. Ooh, ooh, I just got a good idea. Which is going to make it even more complicated. How about, shoot, recoil. First, I, would you quit that? getting a little ahead of myself. Let's make it so uh, 
every this is gonna make it shoot. So just to be organized, let's put a thing called shooting. Every millisecond whoops, that's not what I meant to do. When its shoot timer is greater than zero, let's subtract from the shoot timer. Alright? Shoot timer equals zero. It's going to shoot, launch an object, boss bullet, launch it downwards. 100 is a little fast, so I'll make it 40. And, uh, yeah, so it shoots down. Set its shoot timer to however long you want it to wait before it shoots again. I use this method because it's much more, I guess, user friendly than doing like every 50 milliseconds. Because then you can edit it. You could say, like, add other values. Like when its health is low, you can set its shoot timer to a lower value, and that will make it shoot more often. So here it goes. Every, alright, that's a really long interval, so we're going to set it to slightly lower. By slightly lower, I mean I'm going to cut it in half. So now it shoots like that. And because I'm feeling weird, I'm going to medic its head. Not hover so darn low. Whoa. No, not 750, 75. Alright, there. Now you have more room to dodge. And I can shoot it. But it doesn't do anything. Just so you know, this is going to be like a five-part thing, this making of the boss. So it shoots now. Alright, so when it shoots, it's going to set its shoot recoil to 40. No, 20. And now... Instead of just saying plus twenty sus plus seventy five, we're going to put seventy five in parentheses and add minus its shoot recoil. All right, and we're going to add an event that says every millisecond when shoot recoil is greater than zero. Guess what? Subtract from shoot recoil. Now let's see. Bah! Yeah! See, now it recoils a little bit as if it's shot, pushes it back. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, you know it's awesome. Whoops, I just got hit. I should have died. But I didn't. Because I didn't program that in yet. Okay, so now the boss shoots at us and it undulates around in a threatening fashion, which I'm going to edit. Because 30 is just a little too big. So we're going to make it 24. See, if you add numbers like this, you can quickly edit your entire boss very easily. So now we have this thing that follows you and shoots at you occasionally, all with terrible sprites. Hey, you know, that's okay. We'll make them better eventually. So next episode, uh, we will add in health, we will add in the explosion, particles, all kinds of fun stuff. So until then, uh, hope you've been able to follow along with this, because this is the most uh, complicated tutorial I've done yet. But we'll do some stuff. At the end of this, I'll show you how I draw things, because obviously all these sprites are terrible. So I'll add a background, add all the stuff that makes it look like a respectable boss fight. Life bars even, maybe. You know, all that stuff. Alright, so, hope you've enjoyed this so far, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.